Good evening, friends. Stephen Bernoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, sorry about the video feed on this. For some reason, my video camera is not working on OBS. But uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about La Palma. And not just La Palma, but the some 26 plus volcanoes that are erupting around the globe. And we're not talking about underwater volcanoes. We're just talking about surface volcanoes. I mean, the activity is just completely off the charts. And I got some information uh, to, uh, today uh, on a video that I'd received that really, really, really opened my eyes to some intel that I'd shared with you guys before. Uh, at least for those of you that watch our Patreon channel forward slash Israeli News Live, uh, where we talk about a lot of intel things that, are, that we find out from the government there that, that, that's going on in the world. And one of the things that I shared over there was uh, one friend that I have up there in Washington had stated to me that in his opinion, his theory is that all these changes that are happening on the earth are actually caused by CERN. And... It is the, the operating, you know, in fact, we talked about there being six hydrogen colliders on the Earth that are in full operation and that these were destabilizing uh, the planet, not just the planet, but even the, the ether, uh, the, the, the dimensions between dimensions, you might call it, etc. And it's, and it's causing a lot of problems. Well, this video right here... Uh, is one of the videos or the video that I got there where the young man on this on this video here really may not be the most educated way to put it out there but the guy knows what he's talking about when it comes to CERN and beam dumps uh, and his claim that it activates earthquakes and volcanoes now mind you if you happen to catch this video yourself uh, and watch it for yourself. He's got some pretty strong language in there. He gets pretty upset about some things and, and uses some very colorful language, but the information is valuable. So I appreciate him putting that information out. All right, so now let's, I want to take and share some of the things and I'm going to actually play a portion of his message here in just a little bit. But one of the things he brought out was that CERN, has developed like a mini accelerator that they are using other parts of the world. And he actually takes you to this one website right here. And I actually pulled up the website. A system for developing a testing particle accelerator has arrived at the university from CERN in Switzerland. The mailbox is now settling in. And this, it was taken to Melbourne, Australia. Uh, he shows a lot of this. I highlighted some of this in here. CERN sent the equipment as part of the agreement coordinated by Professor uh, Jeffrey Taylor in 2019. This continues the university's longstanding relationship with CERN. In 2010, the university entered into an agreement to take part in the CLIC program. Associated Professor Roger Russell signed the agreement with CERN on behalf of the Australian collaboration of the Accelerator Science. And this collaboration involves the University of Melbourne, the Australia, Australia National University, the Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organization, and the Australian synchro, uh, Synchrotron. Now, I'm not going to read all of this that I have highlighted, but basically in 2021, this equipment arrived there, and they were saying by the end of 2021 that this thing would be fully operational. Well, they got it operational all right. And one of the things, though, that they do is when they've got this thing full blown here, uh, is they do what they call dumps, where the, the hydrogen uh, collider, in order to release the energy, has to do uh, this thing called, um, let me see if I can find it here. Well, I'll let him actually talk about it in just a minute here, the guy on that one channel there where it talks about beam dumps. And the beam dumps can be targeted to certain places on the earth. And the section I'm going to play for you on the video in just a few minutes will let you know exactly 
uh, what I'm talking about there. Because in fact, let's just go ahead and play it. Let's just let's skip right over there and let's play that section here at 17 minutes 21 seconds, where he talks about CERN's beam dumps that activate earthquakes and volcano. Uh, now, let's listen in. What we got here is. High frequency background noise, uh, nothing, nothing going on there but that 50 hertz steady signal. Nothing for, uh, these are daily strips, electric field. So nothing since the, uh, well, the 23rd, earlier today, a little spike. But you see back that back when on the uh, 19th, prior to the 19th, that uh, hard, hard spike, that's coming off of CERN. Now that's relating to the beam dumps coming out in the Fiji region. See this 50 hertz, and I'll get to this 50 hertz steady signal. Uh, I found out some more information about that. It, uh, it uh, increases cellular growth. I mean, dirt, dirt, dirt dermal growth in humans for, uh, along with the uh, sedation effect but uh, looking at these yeah, charts get the spike the surge really not doing any, very much here 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 to and see these very large spikes that's CERN that's not natural that's going way up past 34 Hertz in the magnetic field uh, so they were operational earlier today might be coming back on today that's the Schumann and so anyway, let me show you, this is interesting, that right there doesn't look like any signature that's been coming um, around before, and it's there too on this chart. Now if you notice, I don't know how well you guys might be able to see this or not, but the dates are actually on the chart, like September 19th, September 22nd. And if you follow back and look at the activity that was happening on La Palma, uh, during these dates here, the different types of eruptions, the increase in eruptions and things of that nature there, you'll find it's very interesting. But let's listen a little bit further here. Really interesting signature. Never seen that before. Um, so, oops, I, oops, I'm previewing you too far ahead of myself. So, the beam dump from Melbourne, guess where it goes? Now, now, Fiji, Fiji, and Vanuatu is where this area right here on the map. Anywhere in this area is where CERN's beam dump comes goes to, and I'll show you that diapode. Well, I don't need to show you that diapode. I know I'll show you exactly where where it goes. But anyway, this this region here. Anyway, look where CERN's beam dump goes. Real, real close to Los Palmas. If, if, if you uh, put a degrees of alteration on the beam dump coming out of Melbourne, you would be able to hit Los Palmas with it. Because it only beam dumps within like 30 to 60 degrees, they don't do too much uh, out of an angle uh, out, you know, because it wouldn't have any effect if it did that. It has to do with uh, diapodal magnetics, okay, if you know anything about it. All right, and the thing is, when, you, when, when he gets into this, he actually begins to show you uh, where the beam dumps go, what the different types of earthquakes that are caused from all of this, and so this is why I found this information very interesting. All right. Now, I, I did a little research to try to see if there was anything that kind of supports some of this. And I ran across this article on uh, express.co.uk, shock claim, large hydrant collider shut down after causing massive earthquake. The large hydrant collider, the LCH, was shut down after causing a magnitude 7.0 earthquake, which shook the whole planet. And it has sensationally been, uh, sensationally been claimed. Now, they, 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 they try to say that it, you know, 
that it's more of a sensation, but there seems to be, at least in this back, I think in 2016, the article says conspiracy theorists have claimed that the huge scientific installation triggered a magnitude 7 earthquake in Vanato uh, in the South Pacific, which was so strong it has been described as shaking the planet. They claim the quake in uh, Norsup on uh, Malakula Island started just 15 minutes after the last burst of energy into the LHC, which then shut down. Well, when it does that burst of energy, they have to do a dump. When they do a dump, that energy is then deflected somewhere on the Earth. And, of course, as the one YouTuber there is uh, bringing out, that creates earthquakes. And if they decide to do these things intentionally, then they have the ability to cause more problems in other places on the planet. Now... Then I took and I looked at what he was using, earthquakes.volcanodiscovery.com, uh, because this is one of the things he's using. I, I noticed that on this site here, you're able to uh, get a little bit more accurate information about earthquakes and things like that. I just have it clicked on for the past 24 hours and eruptions, etc. These little triangle things on here are active volcanoes. Now, we have what we call the Ring of Fire, which is basically from the you know California coast all the way down into Argentina, coming back all the way up to Alaska, coming back around the Kuril Islands there for Russia, Japan, and then getting down there around Solomon Islands, uh, you know, places like that. That's the Ring of Fire. Notice the activity of volcanoes is completely off the chart. These red volcanoes that are, are actually erupting as we speak, if you click on it, you find out more information about it, right? Uh, it is erupting. Uh, they got a volcanic ash advisory. This one's in Mexico. You have Guatemala. In fact, Guatemala just uh, went off today. Uh, and uh, another one, a Fugo volcano erupting. All these volcanoes are erupting right now. When in the world have we ever had so many volcanoes erupting at one time. Ecuador, everywhere you look, volcanoes are erupting. And all the little round circles, these are earthquakes. Look at that. 5.1 North Pacific Ocean, Mexico, right? And just, just gobs of these things. That's only 24 hours worth of earthquakes too, by the way. They're everywhere. 3.2, 3.9, 3 uh, 3.8, you know? 4.5. I'm blown away by what I'm seeing. Look at the United States even. Look at all the earthquakes going on. And then we come up here. We get more volcanoes erupting out here. The great uh, Sikkim volcano in the Aleutian Islands. It's erupting now. Uh, this one here, again, Aleutian Islands volcano is now erupting. You go to Russia's side. They're erupting over there. I mean, this is absolutely nuts. And some places they say they have webcams. You can click to go see if they're if they're showing anything on it at the time. That one doesn't seem to be showing anything. Well, yeah, it does too. There we go. We got some looks like satellite uh, imagery there coming on there. I guess it just takes time to load. So, but unbelievable, right? And then of course, if you jump over here to La Palma. Uh, it shows that volcano erupting as well. We're just going to kind of zoom in, and, and also we're going to probably have some earthquake activity. Uh, they've had they've had a 2.2 magnitude, nothing big as of right now. But uh, oh, actually two vo two earthquakes in that area there. Also 2.7 on La Palma, and of course we have the volcano erupting as well right now. But uh, as he brought out. Every time they do the dump from Melbourne, Australia, it's creating the seismic activity. In the video, he goes into also the different earthquakes here in Spain. And, and what, in fact, this right here is an underwater volcano that is also erupting. And that's just off of the Moroccan coast there. So interesting how CERN, and this is the one in Melbourne. This is just a little portable CERN that they have down there that's causing all this ruckus in that part of the world. Uh, it's just like bonkers. 
fact, let's see, we can look at, uh, you know, he also talked about there being a dump right out there in, uh, in near Fiji. And when you go out there, sure enough, what do you got? You got a volcano going off on Tana, Tana Island. And uh, August 27, 2020 was uh, when that one went off. And uh, gosh, I don't know if that's still going off. It just has the word erupting on that. You've got 13 hours ago, 5.0 earthquake. Uh, you uh, 4.3. Look, look at all the ones around New Zealand. Unbelievable number of earthquakes going on in New Zealand. Talk about a dump area. They're dumping all right on these poor people. I mean, look at look at that. I mean, it's like it's like a swarm going off in New Zealand. Just unreal, all the earthquakes. I wouldn't want to live in New Zealand. Doesn't like a very good place to be living right now. And then, of course, just up there north, Indonesia area, Philippines. Unbelievable. Again, the earthquakes. And if you if you like, like I said, if you follow, if you look at the video the guy put out, uh, it is um, there's just a lot of information on there. By the way, I, I don't know if some of these volcanoes have stopped erupting that are that are up here on the map. I see a lot of these things like August, well August eight, twenty twenty one. I'm sorry. I, I think some of them actually talked about twenty twenty. Was that the case or no? Maybe maybe I just mis, mis mistaken it when I looked at it here. Let me. Pull on this one again. No, I'm sorry. August 2021. My apology. So, yeah, these are actually going off right now. I did see somebody had sent me over on Twitter that there is, yeah, August 8, 2021 erupting. So these are all current. June 2021, uh, volcanic ash is what that one has now, but it was erupting. I don't know if it's still erupting or not. August 10th, 2021, but just enormous number of, of volcanoes that are going off. And as I mentioned to you, the intel that I had gotten initially is that it was suspected that CERN, all the hydrogen colliders that we have going off right now are causing all the destabilizations that we're seeing on the planet. And it, it may very well be so. It may very well be so. I have no, no clue, not for sure. Uh, this was was the, the charts that he was showing you there. It's actually on VLF.IT. I did forward slash sort three HTML, which brought up some of the same graphs that he did. You might be able to see it on your screen better. September 20th, these are the spikes there. Uh, I, I don't really understand these things because I'm not that type of uh, guy. Electrical field is what it is. Uh, something to do with magnetics and stuff. And, uh, and then, of course, shows the hot spots in Spain, things like that. And But he actually went down and, and uh, he was showing this one spike. And that was the other thing there. When he, when he got right around the September the 21st there, all the spikes that were going on there. And again, follow it back. Go back and look at La Palma and see what was happening at La Palma during that time. And this is this was the chart right here, the magnetic field, where it just totally went off the charts. Above uh, 34 uh, is what's on, the, on this chart here, and the spike is completely off the chart there in the magnetic field there. So again, that was a dump that was being done. That was done on the September 1st, 2021. Again, same exact timing there. And uh, we know that there was some pretty pretty crazy things happening on La Palma at that time. So I, wa I wanted to share some of that information with you. Uh, also, um, let's see, the volcano on Spanish Island erupts for the first time in 30 years. Lava destroys homes and forces evacuation. Uh, this Now, this is also an article that was shared with me by uh, Sister Elizabeth. You can see, too, the other vent that had opened up over on the other side of that mountain hill right there with the one also on the front side here. So they're, they're getting more and more vents, more fissures or cracks are also popping up now. Uh, and look at the massive size of the explosions there that this thing is getting there. But at any rate, rate Elizabeth sent this to me, where the volcanologist Vince, Vincent Solar of Spain's higher council said, the material appears to be very fluid, the lava flows will reach the sea sooner or later. The Scientific Committee of the Volcano Risk Prevention Plan said part of the island's southwest coast was at risk for landslides and rock falls. Well, so much for people saying that the scientists are saying that there is no risk of a landslide. This is Spain's higher council volcanologist saying that there is a risk. 
So let's still stay vigilant about following the updates of what's going on. Unfortunately, if this thing keeps erupting for a long period of time, that's going to kind of wear people down trying to figure all that out. Uh, but I wanted to make sure you, you were aware of the Spain's higher council volcanologist and what he is saying about a possibility of a landslide. I know also this 9.5 earthquake has been a big concern for a lot of people there. Uh, what actually went on? Brother Gary sent me uh, this article here. I think it's actually in either in Russian or Slovak initially. And why did that 9.5 earthquake in Argentina just disappear? Well, there was one thing that they stated in here I thought was kind of interesting. It says, makes no sense to hide such an earthquake because even if they do not look at its depth, the destruction will be monstrous. The poet is most likely, I think they're talking about the writer, is most likely talking about an error or which may also, also well be a seismic wave came from Argentina from the future. Because a 10.0 plus is coming. I thought that was kind of, I think they're being more, uh, a little bit, it's kind of a little bit sarcastic, but also jokingly when they're saying that, because not that they're joking when they're saying a 10.0 or greater is coming, but nobody else reported this particular one. So I know some people are saying, well, did it happen or did it not happen? I would say it probably did not happen. Maybe there was an error because, granted, if a 9.5 happened down there, it would not only be on the news because of all the buildings and stuff falling out down and all the disaster that would be taking place. Um, but at the same time, I, I find it interesting that they wrote in this article, it's a seismic wave came to Argentina from the future. In other words... It may have been a false alarm, but that type of earthquake is coming, and I can believe that to be so. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're listening to Israeli News Live. Thank you for joining us this evening. Blessings to you, and uh, stay in prayer. Keep your eyes focused on Christ, because we are certainly in a tumultuous time. And as I said here, showing you this, 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 earthquake thing over here and stuff it is absolutely nuts look all down through there in paraguay and stuff i mean you could just go on and on i mean if you want to you want to just put on the warning you can add the warnings to it as well then you pop up the little orange cones there right but if you want to just go with everything that's going on hit the all look look, look at what's going on unbelievable Unbelievable. So, well, that that just shows you where all the volcanoes are, even the underwater ones and stuff like that. Uh, unrest, though, if we were to hit the unrest, they've got some volcanoes that are having some issues. It's got some anomalies, things like that. So you can even look at more of the things that are going on. Uh, and speaking of that, is there anything up there a lot of them over here off of Venezuela. Look at all of these ones right here that are um, seismicity, seismicity, the elevation of that. Different ones there. Volcanic alert level lower to yellow. Okay, so that's not, that one's, at least they got lowered. Um, but a lot of things going on, a lot of things going on around the world. Totally off the charts. Uh, well, you stay, the red ones are definitely off the chart, no doubt about it. Anyway, thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benoon, Oklahoma. Also getting a lot, getting some earthquakes up there. Uh, that's let me just quickly look at here at the U.S. before leaving with you. 2.7 and uh, 2.5 20 minutes ago. Uh, it's really, it's really a very good sign. Texas also getting uh, quite a few earthquakes there. 4.5 out there off the coast of Mexico. So. We we'll just be, need to watch care closely everything that's going on. Anyway, God bless you. Thank you for listening. And y'all have a great evening.